What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some brand new WWE action figure images for you guys, including a new look at the Elite 69 Mustafa Ali, as well as three new women, first time in the line for the WWE action figures, and a brand new man, newly crowned Undisputed Raw and SmackDown Live Women's Champion Becky Lynch. Yes, she has a new figure, and I'm not too happy about it, but let's go ahead and start off with Mustafa Ali, guys. Look at this beauty of a figure right here. The red, gray, and black attire. I I honestly cannot remember where where he wore this. I, I honestly can't remember if somebody wants to help me out down in the comment section below. I remember him wearing the all white attire at the Rumble. He wore the blue at Fast Lane. He's worn the purple, but I honestly cannot remember where he wore the red one. Can somebody please help me out down below? I thought we were going to get his WrestleMania 34 attire in the Sub Zero. I thought we were getting you know the mask and we were going to get the Sub Zero attire. I thought we had talked about it. Maybe there were some copyright issues or you know some sort of legal agreement that they couldn't agree upon or something because I remember them releasing the images of this thing way back when after WrestleMania 34, like a couple months after WrestleMania 34, maybe it was at San Diego Comic-Con, which is obviously the biggest, you know, comic convention, pop culture convention of the of the entire year. They re released those images, you know, they always talk about the brand new action figures coming out, and they had an image of Mustafa Ali, and he had the ripped up torso just like Cedric Alexander, and just like that figure, they changed the torso, they changed it to the Daniel Brian torso, which I don't know. I mean, I guess it works. I'm fine with either one. Um, I guess this one probably works better for Mustafa Ali since he's a little bit smaller, but I think they could have easily gotten away with giving us the ripped up torso. But back at San Diego Comic Con, they clearly showed us images and uh, I think that was the first time he wore that sort of mask cover, you know, the shield style mask cover that he wore at WrestleMania 34. I think that's the first time he wore that. So I thought when they showed us images that we would for sure be getting that attire in the gray, uh, light, lightish blue and black. And it was such a beautiful attire. And I know Undisputed Brotherhood is going to be really upset because he really wanted that figure. And now we are not going to be getting that attire unless this is a completely different. Is this a completely different release? Maybe this isn't the one that's in Elite Series 69. Maybe this is a different uh, release. Maybe this is is a different um, series. I didn't really get the information about it. I'm sure that uh, I'll have some information later on about this, but um, the one that we saw in the other day's video, I think it was two days ago or so from WrestleMania, where they showed the figure off, it had the entrance vest on, so they don't have the entrance vest here. Maybe there are two different figures, and that figure had a gray base, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's two Mustafa Ali elites. I guess we'll have to see. Um, or maybe we're getting a Mustafa Ali elite, and then we're getting an Ali elite. I don't know. You know, they're, they're always taking away names and stuff, but I think that this figure looks beautiful. I love the attire. I think that Mustafa Ali is fantastic. I like the way that he looks here. I just hope the figure's not too short or something. Maybe um, he'll be correct height. He'll feel good in the hand. He won't have loose joints, and it'll be an easy way to do it. But moving on, guys, here up next, we have the brand new women's tag team champion Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. I think we were supposed to be getting a Billy Kay a long time ago, remember, in like the NXT series. I think that figure ended up getting canceled or something. It was supposed to be Target exclusive. And then um, this is the first images we are seeing of a Peyton Royce. This is obviously just like a paper-rendered cardboard cutout of the figure, but they both look good, you know, as bad as they are at wrestling and as bad as they are as characters on TV, I think these are great figures, and since they're the new women's tag team champions, we definitely need figures of them, I think they're going to go great into the women's collections of figures, and they look exactly like them, so I'm excited for that, it's, it's so crazy and terrible at the same time, because Peyton Royce used to be one of my favorite NXT women, she actually used to be my favorite NXT uh, women's talent once Asuka and Ember Moon got caught up. I used to like Peyton Royce. I thought she had a lot of potential. And now, the the way they have her on the main roster, she's just an annoying, just crazy, ridiculously over-the-top uh, being on television. And it's just super just cringy and terrible to listen to. But the figure looks good. I'm going to grab both of these anyways. And that is it for the Iconics. But these figures do look good, and they are the new tag champions. God rest our souls. Next up, guys, we have a Zelina Vega figure, which looks great. I think this looks just like Zelina Vega. I think that um, I think she gets a lot of wrestling time. I know that she doesn't really get it on television. Obviously, she's I don't know if she's ever had a match, but outside of like a mixed tag match with Lana and Rusev, I remember a couple months ago with Cien Almas or something like that, um, or Andrade, I should say. Always cutting the names, man. I don't know why they're doing that, but this Zelina Vega figure does look good, and I think that uh, it'll go great with our on Andrade Elite whenever. 
whenever we get that. I know we have a basic and people have converted it into elites, but it's about time we get that Andrade Elite or Andrade Cien Almas Elite, man. I really want the official one. I know that we're, I think he's supposed to be in the next NXT series, NXT Series 5, but who knows when that will hit, guys. I mean, Jesus, man. I feel like they showed that figure off forever ago, too. I mean, the same thing with Roderick Strong. Um, like, those two figures were shown off forever ago, and we still don't have them. So, uh, I, I really want the Roderick. I really want the CN, and it will go perfect with this Vega figure right here. And uh, that, those will look fantastic, and uh, we need this to go with our with our Andrade figures, right? So, I'm, I'm all for this Vega figure. And the last one that we have, guys, is my girl, the man, the newly crowned undisputed champion, Becky Lynch. And my God, guys, this this figure, why can they not get Becky Lynch? Why can't they get her head right? They can never give us... I haven't seen one Becky Lynch head scan that just undoubtedly looks like Becky Lynch. You know, we've gotten, you know, fantastic Finn Balor head scans and Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens and Randy Orton and AJ Styles and all these different characters that we have gotten perfect head scans for. We've even had Charlotte and Ronda Rousey that look just like them. Why can we not get a Becky Lynch that looks like Becky Lynch? We can never get it right. BEW made a perfect custom Becky Lynch, and it looks just like Becky Lynch. And if BEW can do it, I don't know why a million-dollar company in Mattel cannot get it right. I just don't understand. I don't know if it's the sculpt. I don't know if it's the true effects like technology. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't look like Becky Lynch. I haven't seen a single figure of Becky Lynch that I'm just like, yeah, that looks identical to Becky Lynch, or yeah, that looks just like Becky Lynch. Uh, so I am waiting desperately for Becky Lynch. I just don't see why they can't get it right, guys. I mean, I, I just want to see a good-looking Becky Lynch figure. She's my favorite woman in WWE. I want to... I've even seen... Asuka's even got a good head scan, so I would like to see the same here for Becky Lynch, especially since she's a prominent role in television. She's probably the most over woman's talent in the world right now, so definitely need to get a good-looking Becky Lynch, but I'm excited just to see. Maybe they improve it. Who knows? Doubt it, but, you know, we'll have to see, but that is all the new figure images that I have for you guys today. Day. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed WrestleMania last night. I know I am tired out. I'm actually currently working, stupid computer. I'm actually currently working on my Finn Balor custom as we speak, and it's gonna probably take me a couple days to do because I'm filming the Rumble. I'm working on customs. I'm trying to do commissions. So uh, it's gonna definitely take a little bit of time, but we'll get there. But that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name, Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.